Let's take a look at now question number two in Chem 11 sample exam two. This is another gas related question. In this case, it says you're collecting a gas, argon, over water at a certain temperature and pressure condition. And then the question is how much volume of the gas must be collected to have a certain mass of argon. And then it tells you the vapor pressure of water at that temperature. With this question, you have to remember the concept of collection of gas over water. You have a tubing, remember that is being used to collect your gas. And then you're bubbling that gas over a container that has water in it. So this is your reaction flask. It produces some gas. The gas goes and travel all the way here into the water. And then it's being collected in this other container. Now the key to remember here is the gas doesn't mix with water. So it's going to bubble up to the top. But the other thing to keep in mind is that water itself can form vapor above its liquid. So you also have this other vapor that's water. So I'll color it green here just to differentiate that from the gas that we're interested in, which is argon. The pressure that's measured right here, the 1.21 atmosphere, is composed of both argon and water. If we want to figure out the argon alone, we have to subtract out the water first. And then after we do that, then that would allow us to use our ideal gas equation PV equals NRT to figure out just the volume of the argon. So if we just want the volume of the argon, we're going to need to use NRT over P, but the P has to just be the P of the pure argon. So let's calculate that out. So the P of the argon is going to be the total pressure that we have minus the pressure of the water vapor, 1.21 atmosphere. The vapor pressure of water is given in TOR but we need to convert it to atmosphere to be able to cancel this out. So I'm gonna use our conversion factor of 760 torr per atmosphere, and that should give us 1.176 atmosphere. Now, once you have that, V is going to equal number of moles. Number of moles, of course, is mass over molar mass. So I'm gonna take the mass of the argon divided by the molar mass, 40. R, now I'm not writing out the units here just to save some space, but you wanna keep in mind here for temperature that you need to have it in Kelvin. So I add 273 to it. And then the pressure at the bottom is 1.176. So when you do that, your answer would be 0.30478 liter. Closest answer to that, 0.305.